This is Spanish 3, Family and Community, Vocab 146 through 150. I'm going to say the following words in English and Spanish and then clap. And after I clap, I'd like you guys to repeat both the English and the Spanish with me, okay? 146, submissive, sumiso. Submissive, sumiso. 147, aggressive, agresivo. Aggressive, agresivo. 148, selfish, egoista. Selfish, egoista. 149, to overcome, superar. To overcome, superar. And finally, 150, a united family or a close-knit family. Una familia unida. A united family or a close-knit family. Una familia unida. Now, submissive and aggressive are going to be very, very easy. They're almost the same word. Remember, green ink means that letters are the same, same order, and everything. The problem is, notice, English has a lot of double letters. Uh, t -t -t double S, double G, double S. And over here, it's a single S, uh, a single G. Mr. Holt, how am I going to remember which letters in Spanish can be doubled? Hold up four fingers. There are only four commonly doubled letters in Spanish. Everybody say seller. Seller. What are the four commonly doubled letters in Spanish? C-E-L-R. You're never going to see a double S. You'll never see a double G. You'll never see a double T. The four commonly doubled letters are C-E-L-R. Now, I'll be, I'll be honest. Sometimes in medical or technological terms, you'll see the letters N or O doubled. Uh, but it's not very common. So if you want to be exact, for double letters, it would be saying no seller, no seller. If that made no sense, I have a clip called seller. Type that up and it'll explain which letters are doubled. Now, a lot of my students miss selfish. They look at egoista and think, oh, that's egotistical or ego. Nope, it means selfish. Listen and repeat. Wherever he is, he has to be selfish. Or wherever he goes, he is into selfish behavior. Get that? Wherever he goes, he is into selfish behavior. Okay? So, egoista is selfish. Now, a boy is egoista and a girl is also egoista. Um, superar is to overcome. See the word super? Think about this for a second. Superman had to overcome a lot of obstacles. I mean, he had to overcome being an undocumented worker. <laughs> you know, I, I'd be, it would be weird if somebody had accused him of being an illegal alien, okay? He had to overcome knowing that his planet and his family were all blown up. Um, he had to overcome a lot of things, but Superman was able to superar. Superman was able to overcome. <laughs> now, we've seen United before. Everybody say, Los Estados Unidos. Los Estados Unidos. It means the United States. So, in English we say United Family. In Spanish they say Family United. Okay? And again, green means the letters are the same and uh, purple, same thing that's over here. Alright, let's do a post quiz. Let me cover up the Spanish. I'd like you to look at the English and say the Spanish equivalents out loud, or even better, look at the English and write the Spanish equivalents down. This has been Spanish 3, Family and Community, Vocab 146 through 150.